What's going on guys, BMS and Naya back with another video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Make sure you guys don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So here we go. Hey Steve, so I've been in a relationship for over a year now mm -hmm. and he's a great guy. I really, really love him, I would say that. And so we just closed on a house and the only thing is we haven't said that we loved each other to each other. So, and my thing is, I haven't said it either because I don't want to say it. And then what if he doesn't feel the same way, you know? So I'm really nervous. I feel like, should I say it? Or I feel like it's a guy supposed to do it. Like, you know, a guy's supposed to reach and say, I love you to me, you know? So. <laughs> Is it weird? Is it weird? Yeah. Was you listening when you was yes. talking? I was. So that's why I'm asking you. Why would you buy a house with somebody <laughs> that you don't even know if they love you? Let alone you're not married. There's no, like, what? Who? Who does this? From the guy's perspective or from? Both why, would why would anybody <laughs> buy a house with someone that, like, you're, especially if this is supposed to be someone you're in a relationship with and you're buying a family home or whatever? Yeah. Like, if this is more love related, you should know that this person loves you and cares for you. And then like you guys are committed to each yeah. other, like before going into this kind of like investment. But right? I mean, the, the, the first question is who paid for the house? Yeah. Who true. put down on the house? If you it know was what equal, I mean? if it was just him, if it was just her, who knows right now? Because let's be honest, chances are he probably paid for the house mm -hmm. or at least majority of the home. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So she's kind of coming into it with no real, I guess, risk, so to speak, right? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Let's, I mean, let's continue. Let's, let's see what else she says. But uh, it seems like she's kind of operating from a, a masculine frame because, I mean, for a woman that's been in a relationship for over a year, typically speaking, she would say she loves you. In my opinion, I think a woman should kind of initiate that. Yeah, I think what she's trying to say, though, like she feels it, but she doesn't want to say because he hasn't said it first. So she doesn't want to be rejected. Mm. But if you're already feeling that, why are you buying a house with this person? Like, right. you know what it's, I'm saying? It's just ask if backwards. If it's fishy, yeah, if something is off and you don't feel secure in like whatever you got going on, why would the next thought be, oh, I'm going to buy a house with this person? You all just closed on a house. Yes. You, he's never told you he loves yeah, you. Yeah, and I've never told him either. Who buy a house? <laughs> this is brand new for me. <laughs> I've never heard a person say they bought a house with a person. He's a great guy when in a relationship. Yeah. And we've never said I love you to each other. Yeah. You bought a house with a person that you don't know if they love you? I think he does. Because of his, like, you know, his action, he, what he does for me, he does a lot for me, you know? I, I believe that. Yeah, so I'm just not an affectionate person so that I haven't said, you know, I love you to him. So that's really my reasoning. And on top of, I guess I'm bringing pride. You're not an affectionate person. No. And y'all buying a house together. I'm not. Oh, what the hell going on here? <laughs> well, hold on. Let's put this on the dude for a second. I mean, from a guy's perspective, why would you invest three, four, five hundred thousand dollars on somebody that doesn't necessarily provide you that softness in a woman? You know what I mean? Like, like, what is the point of doing that? Well, I, I, maybe there's other things that she gives up, right? So who knows what the, what the dynamics are within their relationship or what they do for each other, right? Because um, she didn't mention it. She just said that they do a lot for each other. Like, he does a lot for her. But I'm just... But she, she didn't mention it. She didn't provide any no, specifics. She, it was just a vague answer, pretty much. Um, but I'm still confused why even, like, for her, okay, fine. She might think it's okay and whatever. For the guy, why would he think it's okay to buy a house with That's this what girl I'm saying. that you like, even say you loved her? Right. right? And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just confused. Maybe I think he, she doesn't have any money in it. That's what I'm thinking. Right. He's probably just like, okay, I'm buying this house for, for like myself. You can live with me, maybe for like. I guess to figure it out maybe, but I don't think her name is attached to the property. That's, it doesn't, what, that's what I'm- But it doesn't matter though. Once, even if you're common law, once a woman is living with you oh. and that is her primary residence in regards to the duration of time that she spends in that home, she by law is obligated 
to some way, shape, or form of that home. Ooh, he better watch out! Oh my gosh! Right. Really? So they don't uh, even they don't even necessarily have to be married for her to be somewhat entitled or to have a case to be entitled to that home. So he's literally setting himself up for failure because, like I said, this woman is not providing any feminine characteristics, any softness or even motivation for me to want to put you into a home. Because in my opinion, for a guy to put a woman into a home, that is a sacrifice, right? I mean, it takes money and energy and time yeah. <laughs> to buy a home. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it seems like he's not receiving... I guess his side of the deal in regards to what he would benefit we're only focusing on or what she's focusing on is what she's benefiting and her, you know, saying, woe is me. I don't want to say I love you when yeah. in reality, if you feel it, you should say it right. Yeah. You should motivate that guy to want to continue to provide and it should be a give and take relationship but i mean if they're having this much trouble communicating with each other just to say i love you and it's been a year that they've been dating and like do you know what i mean like i don't know like they should be talking to somebody to figure their communication problems out before buying a house in my opinion that should be done first yeah but for a guy i mean if if a woman is stoic like that and you know she has a problem expressing herself for me that's a red flag mm -hmm. automatically Right. Because if I don't know the way you're feeling or thinking and you're leaving it up to me and I'm a guy, I mean, typically speaking, a man is not overly emotional like that. He's not going to be saying I love you all the time. He's not going to be the mushy, gushy one. Right. It's usually the woman that's going to initiate uh, that type of uh, language or communication. Mm -hmm. And I think a man would. Uh, reciprocate that and you know say it back right but for a man to be like oh i love you i love you like i don't think that's practical mm -hmm. so in my opinion i think she's acting like a dude in this situation this is not hopeless yeah you can fix this yes you've you bought the house already yeah ah. <laughs> yeah is, is your name on it no, it's, all, it's his, yeah. It's his, and okay. I... Uh, just yeah. hold tight, hold tight, see? See, it I told you. <laughs> not hers. Oh, my God. Now, see this? Okay, jokes is over. <laughs> Let me help you. Here's what we have to do. This is the business of it. It's called a quick deed. You have to get your name on a quick deed. Yeah. He can own the house, but you have to get a deed with your name on it. Secondly, he could love you, he does a lot for you. You, you gotta protect yourself, though. Yeah. What? You have to protect yourself. But you also have to protect your heart. Don't move in you with need him. To protect your finances, oh, and you need to protect your heart. Then, if he decides to up and go, eh, hold on. No, she did. That's our house. No. We'll be right back. What I would have told her was to say, okay. The house is about to close. Your name isn't on it. Don't move in with him. Okay. Find your own place. Like take some time to like go to apartment hunting or something or go with your parents. Do not move in with this person. No, but he's that's, that was the right answer. He's making say, it no? seem like she's the victim, though. That's that's the thing that's boggling my mind. Yeah. He's making it seem like she's the victim in this situation protect your heart protect your finances he should be protecting his finances and she put zero down on yes. the home yes what are you yes. protecting her her like her um <laughs> like her living obviously like her like whatever what do you mean he's trying to say no no i'm just i'm not agreeing with it i'm just saying he's trying to say so you have a roof over your head don't play dumb and like actually get a quick deed and all this stuff no just don't move in with him. You have not moved in yet. Your stuff has not gone this into is, the this home. This is this like, is like a this is like go. a come up situation. Seriously, yeah. 100%. Like this this is a come up yep. for a boss diva level up chick. Let us know what you guys think. Um, because I know I wouldn't be in this situation yes, for sure, it's right? A no. I mean, this it's is a no. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and end this video. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. Bye guys.